Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And what is that in front of the camera? Ooh, ooh, it's an it's an iPhone 4. All right, all right. Now what we're gonna do today? All right. Since we cover all the downgrades and the home button is not working, there we go, it's finally working. Since we cover all the downgrades to iOS 4, to iOS 5, with Linux, with Mac, now I'm gonna show you guys something different. I'm gonna show you guys how to install a firmware where Apple used to test out the features of the iPhone 4 you know, if the like, if like the camera, the XLAM, the sensors, and everything work, I'm gonna show you guys a way to install that special IPSW. This IPSW is like an internal build of iOS seven and five, and I will show you guys there in the video. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain you guys a little bit there. So basically, this the IPSW that we're gonna install is a development IPSW that only Apple can have the access. But now. We have the access, so that's why I'm gonna show you guys here. So it looks like iOS 7 or N5, but there's with like a couple of apps and some like Easter eggs and all that. It's probably different from like a normal iOS 7 install. All right, without any further ado, and if you guys understand what this IPSW is, which I will show you guys that, of course, when we install it, let's go to the video. All right, guys, so here it is iOS 7.0.4 and iOS 5.0 internal UI build. Now, I want to say big thank you to at the thinking share on Twitter and at YRH04E on Twitter. Now, unfortunately, at YRH04E Twitter got suspended as of I'm making this video. So maybe some of you guys know what his new Twitter is. Let me know in the comments. So, of course, I will give him some credits. Now, we're going to install this IPSW with Pluvia. So thank you to... Ethan Nelson for making this tool. I will also link this in the description. This is the same tool while I'm trying to show you guys to downgrade to iOS 5 or 6. Same tool, but of course, I will link it in the description anyway. But yeah, there is two versions here. You can have 7.0.4 and 5.0. I will link these two tweets in the description. And you can see right here, make it's made for iPhone 3.1 and 3.3, and the 5.0 is only for the 3.1. So your best bet is to get an iPhone 3.1. So yeah, the 2012 RAF A 8GB iPhone is not supported, unfortunately. All right. So the first thing you gotta do, of course, is download Pluvia. Let me go to here, code, download zip. And you go to here, you can go to 5.0 or 7.0.4. I'm just gonna go with iOS 7 here. All right, here we are inside Pluvia. We gotta extract it, of course. And we're gonna go to our best friend, not Final Cut Pro, <laughs> Terminal. Okay, now we're gonna type in cd space drag the Pluvia main folder, hit enter. Now we're gonna type in dot slash make underscore ipsw dot sh, sh space. And then we're gonna drag our internal UI ipsw. So you can see here, I downloaded the iOS 7 one, so the beginning one is Innsbruck, Towns, and all these numbers. So we're gonna drag that. All right, and we're gonna hit enter. Get your dongle, then plug your iPhone in. Now we're gonna go to the FU mode by pressing power for 10 seconds, including with the home button for 10 seconds, so. Okay, once that make.ipswsa command is running, we're gonna type in dot slash restore dot sh not a .sj, .sh space, and then we're gonna drag our desired internal IPSW, which we make a room here, drag, and hit enter. All right, guys, here we are reaching the setup of, oh, you can see something, something interesting already down there huh? near the hello setup screen. All right, so let me set up this uh, firmware and we're right back. All right, here we are finishing the setup in three, two, one. All right, so you can see here, and this looks like a boring iOS, nothing interesting, but if we go to settings here, there's two new settings called carrier settings and internal settings. So let's go to internal settings. 
going to go down here to features and I'm going to click here show in general apps and you see some interesting apps will pop up let me turn that on and we go home here oh finally all right you can see we suddenly have a bajillion apps from testing look at this we had this much apps now you can also mess around here in settings but there's also one thing that's interesting if we go to lock screen here you will see down there confidential and proprietary oh that's something very very interesting huh? start here we can also this you can play around this demo demo mode though all right so you can mess around with things remember this uh, uh firmware has not been geobooked if i go to here there is no cd not sudia so there's no cdia so this hasn't been jailbroken, but I can mess around. For example, I can change the service here to whatever name I want. So let's say sub.0.5, but there you go. It changed, you know, like that uh, that Zeppelin tweak, which is pretty interesting, you know? And I can also make the bar have default. So no bars, make it full bars, four bars, three bars, two bars, one bar, zero bar, look at that. You can see these apps here, AirPlay Tester, APS Texter, Car Display. Let's see what this is. Ooh, a checkerboard. Let's go to Duet Viewer. What is this? Now keep in mind that some of these apps, which why some of them crash, some of them not working. That's because it's relaying on servers that Apple made since this firmware is A, is already old and B, it's outside Apple's headquarters so that's why some of these apps are not working but it's still pretty cool to play around with mule e oh what is that sorry if i'm running out of thing here oh this is to test the um accelerometer look at that very very cool onward is this a game onward oh yes looks like it is a game i think this is uh, okay let's access the microphone Airplay tester. Oh man, this iPhone 4 is like an iOS 7. So some of these games are installed so Apple can test out their game center tools and their game kit tools. Pretty cool. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, you guys can see here, this is not for daily usage and all that. Oh, touch where to shoot us. This is a game made from Apple. And it's just don't know where it's going. Oh, look at that. I can't even play it. Oh, so see, I can't even play it. Man, the rotation is already off. Now, again, as I said, not for everybody. But this is cool to check out because this is an internal build of iOS 7. Like that, all these apps are not intended. This is not. This is not an intended version to be released to the public for Apple to test out their features and all that. But and this is also based on 7.0.4. You can see there. All right, I'm gonna show you guys some more settings here. As you can see, I tweaked it so it says that that is an LTE network. So you know, an iPhone 4 and LTE. And I found some interesting videos and stuff here. So if we go to carrier settings, you can see here some of these things. You, there's some interesting photos and videos here. All right. You guys can uh, look at it for yourself. All right. Internal settings here. And there's something an interesting feature. So if we go to where is that? Let me go to core OS. Scroll down here. As you can see right there, break device. Wipe your device before returning to the person collecting hardware. So you can literally break your phone on purpose. So if I press this, it will go to a boot loop and go to the stuck on the iTunes screen. So you can purposely did that, which is very, very interesting. Also, do you guys remember this little tweaker here? Remember, it's it's, uh, it's very popular in iOS 7. I also, yeah, I jailbreak this firmware. This little springboard settings, hidden springboard settings on iOS 7. Well, it's coming from this internal UI build also. So if I go to settings here, let's go to springboard and let's click on volume key show settings. So let me press the volume up button here. It does show the same thing. So yeah, remember that tweak guys? So yeah, you can customize a lot of tweaks here, a lot of these and that, the highlight colors and all that. Basically the same tweak as this. So this is a jailbreak tweak that, you know, remember back in the days, enable the hidden springboard settings well. It comes from this. So there it is. That's how you guys install the internal UI, Apple's internal firmware for them to test out every single feature before releasing the public version of iOS. Very cool to show these apps. I mean, some of them crash, some of them does work, some of them, I don't know why yeah, they are they doing, but of course, people at Apple know. So that's it for the video. It's a little different video than usual, but hopefully you guys 
some of you guys will like to install this i mean it's pretty cool for me in general though there's ios 7 which is this one 7.0.4 and ios 5.0 that you guys can download and install same thing but basically drag to ios 5 ipsw all right so thank you guys for watching this video and i catch you guys in the next one peace